an NFC East battle right off the bat. It's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, an important season is about to begin for Eli Lanning. His Giants get a tough test right out of the gate as they take on the defending NFC East champs, the Dallas Cowboys. I'll be back at halftime with a look around the early games. Let's get you over to Big D. Here are Brandon Gotti and Charles Davis. Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. A moment ago, here was the scene of the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with Eli Manning and the New York Giants. So happy to be with you, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. And we thought it would never get here, but here we are back together. It's opening weekend of the 100th season in the NFL. So much football to talk about. That's our main focus. But how about how much happened in the offseason? Rules changes. Overtime rules were discussed in a big way. Some superstars changed addresses. There's a whole lot to talk about in the NFL in addition to this game we're getting ready to watch. Ready to get things rocking. The Pro Bowl kicker from the NFC last year, Aldrick Rosas. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys take over with their fourth-year quarterback, Dak Prescott, at the helm. The passing yards a career high last year, close to 3,900, but protection was a problem for Dak Prescott. His 56 sacks taken were one fewer than his previous two years combined. Ezekiel Elliott, last year's NFL rushing leader. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. Uh, it's so good to see big number 72, Travis Frederick, back in a Cowboys uniform. Remember, he missed all of last season. But Guillaume Barre syndrome. And prior to that, he'd been to the Pro Bowl four times at center. And his return, a huge boost to the offensive line. Better to have him in uniform than coaching. On second down, Elliott. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Good job, D. Good job. That's what you find. And we look now at the defense for the Giants. Cabril Peppers, a former first-round pick of the Cleveland Browns in 2017, has returned to his home area to play for the New York Giants. He's looking for an opportunity to really shine. Sharp in returning the football on kickoffs and punts. The Giants believe he can fill the gap at safety for them. Third play here that's opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Prescott from the gun. Oh, yeah. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defense is charged. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep, Golden Tate. Come on, man. 
And the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 21. Here's the former number two pick, the pro bowler Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it will be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Back-to-back -back big plays have him on the move on first down. Manning going to hand it off to Barkley. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. A nine-yard pickup just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. Here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. But we see so many good battles in the NFC East, and Cowboys and Giants, they rarely disappoint. They didn't disappoint last year. Cowboys got the better of the Giants both times. Week 2, 20-13, and then in Week 17, a thriller, 36-35. That was a game where Dak Prescott threw four touchdown passes. From the gun on third down, Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. A first down carry for Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile. Stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Manning. Accelerating and off he goes. Touchdown. not a very good throw by Eli and you know part of what happens is he's a little bit of a slinger all right he's gonna throw it downfield and take his shots and in this case it backfired worth noting you remember 2007 against the Vikings three pick sixes Manning had in that game tied for the most in a game in NFL history so study his career they've thrown the ball downfield a lot that's where you'll accumulate a few more interceptions Brett Barr on for the extra point. And this is and good to make it 7 0 Cowboys. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And following the pick six, and they decent field position of throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help percentage throws early to let him get snared. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance. To and this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Jalen Smith, who took a huge step forward last year, in on the tackle for Dallas. Manning to throw on third and one. Finds 
his tight end Ingram. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. It's man. But it's incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target. And it's second down. And now the defense for Dallas. Sean Lee is a linebacker with an exciting mix of tackling ability and coverage skills. So the second down continues to get on the 43. Now Saquon Barkley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially able to go is a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Up front, the struggles continue. Direction. You want to run and that will influence these guys to continue to get up field and find a way to use that again. Some quick passes could work as well. And boys here on third down, defensive back. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Now the mobile kicker offers himself. One from 57. After one, all the sports. Get your football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough leg. And the difference is what? Well, your live conditions, live right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. So they take a 59-yarder and misses it, and that is the and starts just one yard shy of midfield. Places on the ground, takes to midfield, but no further, just a yard there. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for the defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Prescott down the 50. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and that takes us from second to third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Try to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the veteran Antoine Bethea. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. 
Well, that's something we saw over and over again in Barkley's rookie season. He had 91 catches last year, most ever by a rookie running back. Part of the fantastic rookie campaign that saw him go over 2,000 total yards. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. I remember a coaching friend of mine was running backs before games. Make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend, shows that he's right. And oh, he took that in one handed. What a grab. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, too. Yeah, yeah tight one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not ready. Here's Coleman. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Remember with Rosas, there was some speculation last year in the preseason that he might not hold on to his job with the Giants. But he certainly answered the challenge, didn't he? 32 of 33 during the regular season. 97% that is. And was named to the NFC Pro Bowl team. And by the way, at 632-34, he can bench press your kicker. But when the highlight of this play, all attention is going to be on the person running with the football the group as a whole, setting up that big time return. Yardage that you won't even account for in the box score may help them win the game. Ball up to the 35 now. It's a come up on first and 10. Now, and they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. And down inside the 15, he goes. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We remind you to come up in two minutes. We get down as we jump the coach at Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And that is taken down at the two-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to the end zone real fast. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Cowboys, they push out in front further. 
But got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people. To power his way forward. And that pushes the lead to 11. So that drive, four plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he's got to enough to make a difference. We haven't established the running game yet. The question is will they? And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. To throw. His throw incomplete. Cody Latimer, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw again. Man. A hook up there. Incomplete. The intended target, Saquon Barkley. And it's third down. But a spark that ignited the Cowboys Giants rivalry goes back to 1960 when Dallas's first head coach and former New York Giants assistant. Assistant Tom Landry brought his 0-10 rookie squad into Yankee Stadium. That game would finish a 31-31 tie, the only non-loss in the expansion Cowboys' first season. Six decades later, still one of the most heated rivalries in the NFL. Heck, even Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett spent three seasons in a Giants uniform. And Dallas leads the overall series, including the last four meetings. Manning to Bart. There, losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. The Giants will go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Manning, they'll get this out to Barkley complete. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds. Six. 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 Six.
face mask. Here come the flags. This is, this is going to get him a first down.
for Zeke, Zeke one of the first three years he's had in the NFL. NFL. Last, year, Last year, his second rushing channel, 1,734 yards, not as many as 16 yards that he had as a rookie, but still, he's running for the game average with the best in the national football game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Even with a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. That's because you're sitting back. I'm not playing with scissors as much as I play the eye of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Final shot here. That's the screen. That's the screen. And he's able to get this one down for a long time. 11 yards on Cowboy first down. He beat it earlier in the quarter when we saw a broken test, and then the run might see some missed tackles here early on the week, and that's an right there. Not a surprise, Not a surprise at all. They even, even out as out the season extends, extends because they want to get used to play speed. speed. But right, right now, now here in the early, early season, season, the advantage, advantage definitely goes to the offense. Push it, push it. Push it, push it. 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 Push it.
Jones defense able to come and come up with a nice touchdown. Well, you feel the excitement of Bill Bill's fourth down today's defense has to stay out there. But the offense and the team doesn't work out. Such discipline. If it actually would be a deflator, the half of the defensive guys, if they stop you on fourth down, they actually would be able to go to the bench. They're elevated now. They're elevated now. They're elevated now. They're elevated now. So after the incompletion, first round, second and ten. Barkley. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Jalen Smith, noted dumb man, on the tackle. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. We are close to the corners here on the NFL kickoff again. Oh, 
Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Eli Manning had a fixture who has been for the Giants organization, making his 15th opening in this game, going all the way back to 2005. Of course, the question will this be his last opening game start for the 30 year old quarterback, the Giants drafting Daniel Jones out of Duke 6 overall in the 2019 draft. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down.